Coral organisms are called polyps, and although they can live by themselves, they are often found in diverse limestone communities or reefs, which they build with the help of other polyps. They are very small organisms that are soft-bodied and are related to sea anemones and jellyfish. In their base is a very hard limestone skeleton called a calicle, which gives them protection and forms the structure of the reefs. Reefs are created when a polyp attaches itself to a rock on the seafloor and then it will divide into many thousands of clones of itself. They then will connect to each other and create together one single colony and together become one organism. These colonies will grow over many hundreds and thousands of years and over that time will join together with other such colonies and become reefs. It is said that there are some reefs in the natural world around today that have been growing for over 50 million years. Polyps are translucent animals and get their amazing colours from the millions of colourful zooxanthellae algae that attaches itself to the polyps. Things that cause stress to corals are pollution and temperature change, which will cause them to reject the algae and become bleached. This will eventually kill a colony and ultimately the reef. Coral are found in warm tropical oceans close to the surface where they can receive the sun's rays. However, there are some lone hard coral species that are found in cooler, even freezing waters up to 6,000 meters below sea level. They tend to feed on the byproducts of the algae's photosynthesis. However, they have also venomous tentacles that have barbs on them that help them to grab sea plankton and other smaller weaker fish. In any one coral reef, the coral are able to support around 25% of all marine life in its vicinity. The name coral refers to a number of different organisms that include whip corals, fan corals, soft corals, black coral, organ pipe coral, sea pansies, sea pens, sea feathers, sea fans and hard corals.